Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get your Windows 10 key. When you upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10, it does give you a new product key. In order to get that new key, you will need this piece of software right here. Go ahead and launch that piece of software. I've already done it, so it's already preloaded. And what you are going to do is you are going to scroll down until you see Microsoft Windows 8.1. I know it says 8.1, but this is your Windows 10 key. I'm not sure why they decided not to change the name. Maybe because it was just an upgrade version. But this is, this is your Windows 10 key. Over here you will see the hardware ID and then the word key. After that, those 25 characters will be your Windows 10 key. Write that down, copy and paste into Notepad, print it out as long as you have a copy of it off this system. Once you have that, you are going to need your Windows installation disk as well. Now when you did the upgrade, you if you did it through the Microsoft um, upgrade program, then you probably didn't get an ISO file. I will put a link in the description to the site that you can get the ISO file. You will need this to do a clean install. So once you have that, there is a 64 and 32 bit version as well. And I'll give you give a link to this site right here. And you will scroll down and you will choose which version that you want. Once you have that, then it's going to walk you through You want to say create an installation media for another PC. Click that and click next. On this page you will want to say what language you would like and what version you want. I chose a 64-bit version but you still have to come in here and tell it 64 or 32 or both. I always like to have a, a disk of each so I chose a 64 when you hit next it will ask you do you want it on a flash drive or an ISO file choose the ISO file if you're not sure if your system is going to boot from a flash drive if you know for certain then go ahead and put it on a flash drive you will need a, a a flash drive that is at least three gigs with free space. Most of the time, I just use an ISO file and I burn the ISO to disk. Once I do that, it'll it'll burn this ISO to a disk. I've already done this. Once you have the ISO file downloaded, you're going to right click on it and say "Burn Disk Image." You'll put your DVD into your DVD burner, CD burner, and click burn. It'll take a few minutes to burn. Once you have that, and you have your key, now you can take that CD, put it into the drive, restart the system, and let it boot from the CD. You may have to go into your BIOS and change some settings so that it does boot from the CD. Every manufacturer is a little different in how you access the BIOS. So take a look at your computer, the make, model number, and just do a Google search on how to access the BIOS. Once you're booted up from the CD, it'll, it'll actually come up with a black screen and it'll say press any key to boot from DVD. Go ahead and do that and the installation process is started. I hope this helps. And thank you and have a good day.